Yeah. We're going to be getting in here. Team Revenge versus Team Lip. Team Lip playing with the sub. Team Revenge stopping a reverse sweep. I'm sorry for my cheeky square there. Squeaky. Oh, it does seem like Team Revenge and Team Lip are in. Are they on the right side for the names? That's the question. It does seem that way, yes. You think they are? Yeah, there we go. You did something right for once, Jasper. I'm I kidding. Besides winning this whole tournament. Yeah, that's your only time. Only time you did something right. Here comes um, Nex. Nex, the hero of game one in the last series he played. Now it's over to Sorius. Sorius with a few great saves in the last game he played. Um... Next now, taking possession, pass it over to Sorius. Sorius up to the corner, Black Strike already in the air. Now it's Lisa for Next. Next with a shot into the top corner. First goal goes to Team Lip. Team Lip starting off really quick here with a goal in the first 33 seconds. Already have a lot of pressure. They're already passing back and forth, and Team Lip so far doing really well. Remember, first and second place has a difference of 50 euros. Um, Right? 50 euros? It is indeed 50 euros, yeah, from 100 to 50. 100 to 50, there we go. Here comes Rexo now. Rexo did really well in his last series. He was a bit more quiet, but his positioning is top notch. Now over to Nex. Nex over to Blackstrike. Blackstrike almost getting the pre flip onto the backboard. Rexo now, winning a 50 50. It's over to Sorius, who wins it over to Nex. Nex now. Leaves it. He actually leaves it for James to take the ball. But Black Strike now passes over to Sorry. Sorry tries to shoot it on target. Saved away by Creamy. Maybe something. The two people who we're going to have to watch out for in this match, Jasper. Who do you think that we have to watch out for from both teams? I'm not. Ex I think definitely Creamy from uh, Team Team Revenge GG. I've been really impressed with Creamy last game. But from. Lip, I don't know. I just think they're all very great players. I've seen great things from them last game from all three of them. Yeah, in my opinion, I think I'd agree with Creamy. Um, he's positionally aware and mechanically amazing as well. Um, I think then it all lies to, uh, in terms of um, Team Lip, it all lies on their sub, Sorius, if he can continue to being a good fit in the rotation and continue to play consistent. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. Also, something I want to mention, since we didn't mention um, it during... Because we didn't really have a long free time before the match started. Do not forget, exclamation mark sponsors to see all our sponsors who helped us make this tournament true. Exclamation mark SoundCloud for the lovely people who helped us provide the music, with music. And Luke, you can give your ad if you want some promotion for casting. Same with Flurkin. Wait, I'm allowed to do that? Yeah. Well, Flurkin's already in, um, Flurkin's already on the sponsor. That is true. Flurkin is one of the sponsors. There we go. Black Strike now on offense. Passes it over to Nyx. Nyx now off the backboard. Intercepts it. I mean, um, Sorius wasn't able to get there for the read and Creamy clears the ball down the field. Intercepted by Nex actually, who actually gets a double tap plus two of the players. Now it's on a 2v1. Um, Blackstrike fakes it out one, but Rexo manages to get back. I'd say the, the positioning on Lip is just very well, very good. So far, they are positioning really well. They're saving a lot of the shots that um, in the last series they may not have done so well. I can tell you Emerald Dragon Luke did indeed see the results. He was very happy about it. I am very happy Emerald Dragon. Thank you. <laughs> I was mad when Turin Turo started double committing a lot, but we got some great Rocket League right here. Exactly. Some would even argue better. I, I don't know about better. I mean, I didn't get to see that double flip reset I wanted, so... Oh, that is true. Although, Dex did play really well that series. She was the only one who was putting the ball in the net most for most of it. I think they all played very decent in the last match. Just not enough. I just feel like Stay Fresh played better. Double commit there from Team Lip. Team Lip have to rush back the defense here. Luckily, Sorius is already back, and he wins the 50, buying a lot of time for his team. Um, now there's Creamy. 
Yes, yeah, this is indeed the first game of the Grand Finals, actually. It's Lip versus Revenge GG, and Lip is winning the first game. Whoever's first wins 100 euros, whoever's second wins 50. Here we go, Black Strike wins the ball across the field. Now it's over to he actually managed to get back to it and win it again. Um up the field now. The ball's on the backboard for Team Revenge. Revenge need to get the ball on offense to start doing something. They're not stringing passes together. They're not passing out of defense like they did in the last series. And it's pretty much just them them giving the ball to Team Lip. With three seconds to go, I think this game is over. Unless Blackstar can get the double tap here. Nope, it's still over. And that's going to be the end of game one. And that uh, marks Lip with the one game lead. So everyone in chat, who do you guys want to win? Who do you guys think is going to win? Because maybe it's different. Um, who do you guys think is going to win? Who do you guys want to win? Say that in chat. Who do you think, Luke? Who do I think? Um, with ha Unless... Um, Unless Team Revenge can uh, can really um, string some plays together, they're doing a lot of solo plays and they're losing a lot of 50-50. So if they can pick up on passing and then winning 50s, then just like that, they should be able to score. Happy Eagle saying next is going to win, so cheering for Team for Team Lip. It does seem that way, yes. Next does have a. Um... A couple of viewers that are a fan of him. I know that for sure. I know that for a fact. Here we go. Team next. Pops the ball forward. Creamy now with control. Creamy, the only one on his team who's been taking control this entire series, it seems like. But now it's over to Rexo. Takes possession. He has control with the pre-flip on target. No, it's off the post, but it's finished by James. James, he's been the finisher of this series, and he's already gotten two goals now. Yeah, it does definitely seem a lot better from Revenge GG in the second map match. My question is, can they keep this up? They were able to string a lot of passing plays together in the last series, but... Are they going to be able to um, string a few wins together? They were really inconsistent last series, so it's really a toss-up as to if they're going to win or not, it seems like. One of our moderators does believe next will make another hat-trick for a comeback. Yeah, so far, James. Two goals. Looking for a third. Hits it off the backboard. Over to Rex. Rex passes it down to James. James decides to play patiently. Really smart. Only a minute. Wait, I just realized two minutes scored and we're only a minute into the game. Oh my. Two minutes scored. Now it's over to Rex. Rex playing the ball slow. Winning 50s now. Unless they're... Maybe they're watching the stream and heard they need to win their 50s and start passing more. Because it seems like they're doing that. Who knows? We'll see in three minutes 30 if they kept doing it. James passes it over to Creamy. He wasn't able to get a good solid touch on the ball, so Rex has to go for it. Now it's up to Nex. Nex clears the ball down the field over to James. Pre-jump by Creamy, so Nex gets an easy pass to Sorius off the backboard, but Rex with an insane backboard read. Indeed, Wolo, two minutes scored by Luke's uh, prediction. Or casting. I don't even remember what I was trying to say. Oh well. You meant two goals scored and you said two minutes. Don't worry about it. You, you live and you learn. Back to this great what match. What I thought I said was I, it's two goals scored and only a minute has gone by. I think that's what I meant. Oh well. Here comes James now. James winning the 50 into the corner. Now hitting the ball up the field. He pops it off target, off the post. But his team isn't able to follow it up. Now Rex getting the win on the challenge. But um, Creamy with a really poor um, half flip there. Matt Sorius out of nowhere gets the goal for team um, lip back let's look at black strike here he gets the waterfall read and then it's an open net basically for Sorius great play there by black strike this could be the start of the comeback in game two lip was the team that came back from a 3-0 deficit um, 
in their first series on stream. So maybe we're going to see it again. But here we go. Almost a goal. Here comes James. Plays it slow. Can't get the double tap. Creamy and next both with the ball. Now it's over to James. James gets red by Black Strike. The ball's bouncing in front of Team Revenge's net. That's over to Sorius. Sorius pops the ball forward. I Black Strike now with possession. I gotta say I was a bit worried when I saw the last match that maybe the teams weren't gonna be as matched as we hope, but they they're evenly matched. It really does seem like a really good matchup. That is true. Now we're seeing James here with the pop. Isn't able to get it forward. Now it's over to Sorius. Sorius now with complete possession. Pops the ball middle. Over to Nex. Nex shoots the ball on target. Saved away by James. Now it's up to Nex. Nex to the backboard. Water falling down. Over to Sorius. Isn't able to score. And now Creamy will try to take possession. I gotta say, for a stand-in, Sorius is doing very well on this team. He is. By the way, how did you find out they were a stand-in? Because they weren't originally signed up with an, another person, which they did other teams with. Nonsense. And like, a, just a bit before the registrations ended, they asked like, "Oh, we need. Uh, he can't play. Can we? Can we put in this player?" Okay. So yeah. Here comes Black Strike hitting off the backboard. They're still looking to tie the game here. Sorius with the chance hits it off the corner crossbar, followed by Nex. That's gonna be a tied game. A bit of chaos there with the demo. I mean, if Lip are gonna come, cl are gonna try to win this series in a sweep, they're at least making making it interesting for us. That is correct. Frost being happy that Nex scored. James here, he has the only two goals so far for his team. Trying to make it, trying to push it forward. Blocked away. Now James pops the ball up. Next now at the interception. Bench to get it past another. They now take the lead. Next a second goal. The hat trick was uh, predicted in chat. Will he actually get the hat trick in the last 37 seconds? So Nex and James both have an opportunity to score a hat trick. My voice is telling me that I want it to be Nex, but <laughs> the game is telling me that I want it to. But the player in me wants it to be James. I want to see a longer series. The overtimes, overtimes are so tempting. What'd be even be better is if it was an overtime that decided the hat trick. Ooh. Here comes Nex, easy clear to the side. They're just going to waste time here. They don't need to waste anything. But here comes Creamy, pops the ball up. Rex tries to pass it back down to Creamy. That's off the backboard. James can't read it. That was James's chance. And now Nex puts the ball on target. That's going to be, once the ball touches the ground, the game's over. But that's going to be a bad touch by Sorius. But it goes straight to the middle. No one was able to catch it. And that's now going to be a 2-0 lead for um, Lip. I don't Sorius think restarting his game real quick. I don't think it was a bad touch as much as um, them just wanting to put it down. Um, it was poor because if you hit it into the middle like that, generally, like, like obviously, there's going to be a lot more nerves, nerves since this is a grand final. But generally, there'd be one person under the ball at zero seconds and one person in the midfield. And that touch was straight to the midfield, which I was expecting somebody like Creamy to be there for and be able to put the shot on target. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I gotta say, personally, I'm not a <laughs> happy e happy eagle. X is saying I want him to win so I can get better mod payments. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> we do hope so for you that you're getting a raise if he wins this tournament. It's looking likely that right now, being 2 up in the series and all that. Wait, mods get paid? What? Shush, not, not you. Shush, shush. What? <laughs> no, you're not getting Why paid. Why do I get paid? Never. I'm casting every. I've, I've casted every series. <laughs> Y'all get paid. <laughs> Apparently, some people are getting paid. Um, we're waiting for Sorius to join. He'll be probably shortly. Oh, he was just kidding. He's probably just saying that so we don't fucking bombard him. Deckers is saying I should get paid, Jasmine. I don't know what you're exactly doing, Deckers, but thanks. <laughs> we'll think about it. Your mods are the wrong streamer. 
can't say they're incorrect, so I don't have money to pay you guys. Sorry, boys. Just make it appear out of thin air without destroying the economy. Has anyone invented the money tree yet? Growing money? Here we go, Sorius is back, and now we're getting into potentially our last game of the entire tournament. Exactly, Lip is already on match points in game three. Here we go, Team Lip already with possession on the kickoff. They just give it the team revenge, probably trying to be a bit more patient here. This is where um, Team Lip might try, and um, this is where Team Lip's going to probably try to play the same play style that's brought them their last two wins. <clears throat> their last two wins. And if they end up losing this, that's when they're going to be like, "I'm going to, we're going to try to do a different play style to see if it'll work. And then if they end up losing that, they're probably just going to return back to the play style that was working in the first place. You see that a lot in Game 5 series. Um, that is in 3-2, Barsic. This, this Grand Final is a best of five, as in, as in we're just still experimenting with everything. For Nexus Tombos, it's probably going to be a best of seven, because a Grand Final should be a best of seven. My voice will be destroyed when that happens. Well, here comes next, getting the read. Can he get the double tap? He gets towards the middle. Now here comes Black Strike, hits the ball back into the corner, but he isn't able to get the double tap read there. Also, besides uh, all the sponsors and all thanking him again, I do want to say we are always looking for people that are willing to help just for experience. So if you are like an aspiring caster, just hit us up in the DMs. The DMs are open from both European Europe. Crossbar Cup on Twitter and Jasper55 Roll on Twitter. If you want an opportunity, just message us and you might be the cast for our next tournament. Rexo, so pass over to James. He tries to pass it back, but Sorius with a great interception on that pass. Now Sorius passes it towards the middle. Rexo accidentally hits it back into the middle, and James wasn't able to get a good follow on it, but Rexo should be able to gain back control. Apparently, one Creamy, of it seems, has changed from Dominus to Octane. This is the first time we've seen him in Octane this tournament. I had not noticed that. What I had noticed is that Yaris apparently isn't listen listening to us. One of our own moderators. <laughs> well, here comes Sarius down the field. Easy read by Creamy. Putting a lot of spins. He feels comfortable mechanically. You can tell by how many spins he's throwing in. But in terms of positioning right now, his team isn't able to string anything consistent. Here comes Rexo. He got an eligible play in the last series. That's up to Creams. Gets red by Black Strike. But pass back to next to Sarius, but they aren't able to win the challenge. Back to next. Next pops the ball forward. Now over to Black Strike. Still has possession of the ball. Now James takes control. Has lots of time. It's 0-0, zero, zero. he has boost, but he gets just red by Nex. Nex winning a lot of challenges right now. Win on the challenge by Creamy. Back over to Sorius, he wasn't able to get a good touch on that, so that'll be, and Blackstrike as well, not getting a good touch. That's gonna be a shot on target by Creamy. That's gonna be the first goal of the game. Bad misplay there from, looks like, all of Team lip that did seem a bit uncoordinated and chaotic maybe they'll maybe they're just breaking maybe we'll they'll pick it up again we'll see you soon hopefully they pick it up real soon um because like i really want to see a game five but i also want to stop talking so let's see what happens here as long as you remember stay hydrated as a caster definitely a play by play you have to talk lot. i've had I've had like 10 bottles of water. This isn't helping. Here we go. That's going to be a redirect from Creamy. It isn't on target, but it does give them a lot of time right now. Unless Black Strike can ball everybody on the other team. Is he going for a demo? No, Creamy is already in the air. Good play there by Creamy. Now it's up to the next. That's going to be a straight shot on target. Stayed away by James. We go straight to Black Strike, who hits it middle. Cleared away by... It looks like that was cleared away by Rexo. Now back to Nex. Nex hits the ball towards the backboard. Here's a chance for a shot. Black Strike isn't able to get there first. Now it's over to Sorius, who misses the ball towards the middle. Sorius doing a lot of miss. That's a misplay by Nex as well. That ball is off the crossbar and in. James finally gets that third goal he was looking for. I gotta say, I was really impressed by the amount of pressure um, Lip put in after conceding. But then to miss the ball again and concede a second goal just must suck. 
We have to pay attention to the mentality of Sarius right now. He's now missed two balls, and they've both led to goals. So we have to make sure that we have to really see if he's going to keep himself in the game here and make sure he doesn't get mad at himself or doubt himself. Creamy now with the flip reset. Didn't get the flip, but he does win the 50. Now Rexo will take possession. Sarius hits the ball forward. Red by Creamy. Takes possession once again. Now it's over to James. James into the middle. Red. Here comes Black Strike's chance. He's really mechanical, so he should be able to do a solo play. He passes it straight down to the other team. Maiden really didn't make anything out of that play. He really rushed it. Apparently next has a nickname. Apparently next has a nickname Full Swiffer. Full Swiffer. Good backflip there by by Nex on that last goal, I guess. Full Swiffer. Hey, here we go. Ball forward. Seems like we're going King in four. As, as our other coaster has been quiet. Yeah, we've now got a game four here. We The winner isn't as easy to decide as it was appearing to be. So now let's see what um, what Team Lip can do to counteract what Team Revenge is able to do. In my opinion, all they have to do is not miss the ball. That That is a very obvious observation. I gotta say, it sounds like a conversation. Just to win, there's only one thing you need to do. Score more than your opponent. Are we waiting on a single player? No. Okay, here we go. James already puts a shot on target. Next able, is able to clear it to the side. Now Black Strike takes possession. Now is being a lot more patient with it. Oh, he just doesn't have boost. I think Luke is getting a little bit of issues with his voice right now. Let's see. It's also because it just came to my attention that I don't have a ride to my job today. And I'm trying to find it. So, but here comes Sorius over to Nex. Nex pops the ball forward. Great shot. Great pass by Sorius over to Nex. It does seem like they're recovering very well after losing last game by NC scoring a goal within the first minute. Here we go. Already 30 seconds gone from the from potentially the last match, and here comes Black Strike. He isn't able to beat James to the ball. Sorry, he's now calls off next and gets demoed right away. Now Rexo will take complete possession. That's going to be an empty net. Tries to shoot it on target. He does. Oh, sorry, it's the pre-flip save. And a very great save there a very by decent. Sorius. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Look at these saves here from Team Lip. They are not losing another game. Or at least that's what they're telling themselves right now. They've just gotten four save consecutive saves in a row. Yeah, the pressure from Revenge GG has been very well, but just no, no dice. The wall from Lip is not breaking. Like, Team Revenge at this point are going to need to remove defenders from that net if they want to actually score. I mean, they already did try to remove a defender, and they ended up getting saved by a pre-flip. That's over to Sorius. Over to the side. Now up to Black Strike. James manages to pop it over him. James now with possession. Zero boost, though, so he just flicks it on target. Nex, really patient. Now it's up to Black Strike and Sorius. They double committed, but go straight to Nex. Nex beats Creamy to the ball. Now James, last guy back, pops the ball up, and Black Strike's up for the ball first. He goes down, and now Rex clears the ball. James beats them to the ball. Now it's up to Sorius. Last guy back, pops the ball to the corner, and then pops the ball forward. And um, Team Revenge trying to be a little bit more patient with their um, play style, trying to catch a few players off guard. We gotta ask though, like with the pressure of that is that Revenge GG are showing, will the wall of lip hold or will they break at some point? 
well, they just need to hold for this game and they win the entire tournament. So even if they can't, even if this was to go into, even if this was a best of seven and they went to the next game, it doesn't matter. This is the best of five. And if they can just hold for the next two minutes, that's all they need. Although we did notice they are playing a lot more defensive minded ever since they did miss the, um, they had those two mechanical misplays. But they definitely can hold up. Ooh. Creamy at the demo, but now Rex gets bumped out of the air. Double commit, but they managed to fake Creamy off the ball. James intercepts that. Now it's up to Black Strike. Bad pass over to the middle, but Sorius manages to get there before any everyone else. Sorius almost gets the ball straight into the net with a weird play off the corner. Over to Nex. Now at the Black Strike. Almost gets the same read that um, I believe it was. Uh, Envoy from last series almost gets the same read that he got. Black Strike over to next, puts the ball off onto Black Strike. Black Strike looks like he saved that shot. I don't think it was going to go in anyway. I think he just tried to back pass. Either way, it was still a good chance that was blocked. Cool. Next gets the demo. Now it's up to Sori. He's taking his time, tries to fake it past James, but Cream manages to read that and help out his team. Next now, trying to hold down the fort for one minute. He was the savior of his very first game that was streamed. Let's see if he can be the savior of the very last game that might be streamed. Here comes Sorius. Wins the ball, pops the ball forward. Now over to Creamy and James who double commit. Now it's up to Rex to touch the ball. He gets beat to the ball. Ball's going towards an empty net, but James manages to get back. And I gotta say, ever since Lip went on the defensive, I gotta say their offense has not been that great. It hasn't been that great, but they are starting to look a lot more scary. But Creamy gets one chance and puts the ball on net. And now it's tied one to one. Guys, it, it might become a match after all. Just took a couple of games to warm up. Saying that we're actually already in game four. Do you believe that um, Revenge GG can take it into game 5 or will it cl close us out? And I think he's gone, so uh, we'll have to there wait we for the answer. Rex now. Over to James. James now. Sorry's getting bumped to net, but Sorry's taking his time. It's only tied. It's not like they're losing. They can still play safe. They don't need to do anything risky. Sorry's pops the ball middle. That's going to be a miss on the goal line. Next gets the three second goal. Three seconds left. Is this where they win the series? I would say they do. I think this is the decider. This may be the decider, folks. Unless a kick of goal can occur. It is very possible. We've have we've seen a multiple zero second goals this series, but the ball gets hit towards the middle. Creamy missed his touch. That's gonna be the end of the tournament. Congratulations to Team Lip for being the first European Crossbar Cup champions. Yeah, and I gotta say they were really impressive during the whole stream as well. They never really looked that down. So yeah, I'm gonna go back. Congratulations. To Congratulations. To Team Lip. Let's, let's hopefully they remember to... Um, to? Sorry. Um, hopefully they remember to confirm the score. There we go. I'll put on some a bit of music in the background while we're still just... An adult. Is the score already confirmed? It is, it seems. There we go. Team Lip. Undefeated, they went 4-0. They were first. They started in the second round, and they swept all the way to the semifinals. And then in the semifinals, they've only lost two games come from the semifinals to the finals. So congratulations to Team Lip. Congratulations to getting the $100, uh, sorry, 100 euro prize pool. Um, and congratulations to Team Revenge with the $50 prize pool. Um, don't forget about um, Team Stay Fresh for getting third place and then Ruthless Unity for almost um, reverse sweeping revenge and then also playing well against Stay Fresh. So congratulations to all the teams that played today. Thank you to all the teams that played today.